This video is about how to earn passive income on Binance. So passive income is actually a way to make more money from your idle crypto assets. So let's say you have BNB in your Binance account. You might want to use that BNB to make more money. I'm going to make this video a simple and straightforward one and I won't take more than 9 minutes of your time. Let's get to it. Alright, so first this is the Binance homepage. When you come here, um, you can see these options at the top here. First, we have Easter Egg Hunt, Referral, Feed, and So we are interested in N today. If I click on N, let me go back. Sometimes the the N section might not be showing at this part of the screen. You just need to click on More, and then you scroll down. Once you go down, you can see under the N section now you have N Liquidity, Auto Invest, Simple N, and the rest of that. So let's click on N. I'm going to try to cover a few of these options right now. Let's click on N. Now under the end section, you can see recommended product USDT is showing APR. APR simply means annual percentage return. So we are seeing USDT with an APR of 1.43% to 154.71%. And you can see under that, that you are seeing flexible with 4.27%. So flexible means I want to stake my USDT on Binance, but then I might choose to take this USDT anytime I want. So it's actually flexible. Okay, so the next option is dual investment. I'm going to explain that in our next video. All right, so the next option is liquidity farm. And you can see um, APR of 1.43% to 51%. And then lastly, we have um, DeFi sticking of um, 3%. So each of these are flexible. When we go back to the top here, you can see simple auto invest, BNB vault, um, ETH 2.0 and others. So if I click on this drop down, you can see dual investment, launch pool and the rest of that. First, let's go to Simple N. I'll click on it. Alright, so under the Simple N, you can see different coins and their options. The first one is ICX with 15.29% plus 2%. And then you have flexible 30 days, 60 days and 90. Now, let me explain what this means. Flexible means you might want to take your money anytime you want. 30 means you want to stick your ICX token for the next 30 days. And then 60 means you want to stick it for the next 60 days. So that's basically how it works. So if I click on flexible, for instance, I'm seeing 15.29 plus 2%. So if I click on 30, you can see that the APR in ICS for the next 30 days is 7%. So in the next 30 days, they are going to calculate 7% 7 of um, your total money you staked with Binance. And they are going to divide that into 12 months and then give you back the balance as your profit. You're going to understand that when I do that immediately. Now, on the 60 days, you're getting 9.8%. 90 days is showing sold out. We are going to get 11.9%. Um, sold out means you won't be able to participate in this because everyone have actually purchased the slot to stick their ICX token. So, under that, you can see other options. Uh, let's look for a coin with quite higher APR. Now, you can see AIP. Ape on 120 days is showing you 52%. 60 days is showing you sold out, but that is 32%. And 30 days is showing you 23%. So we can scroll down and see all of the coins available for you to stick and earn passive income. Okay, so there's a filter tab at the top here. Once I click on it, I can select to sort um, how I want these options to be displayed. So I want to sort by the highest to the lowest EP and the highest at the moment is EP with 52% and the next is ESX with 37% um, and Kava and the rest of that. So let's say I want to go with um, EP for instance and I want to do with the flexible. I'm going to get 18.91% EPR. So I'm going to click on subscribe. So before I can stake my coin, I actually need to have what EP in my Binance account. Under available, you can see I have zero ape. So I, I want to go back to the spot section and buy ape. And once I once I buy it, I'll come back to stick my coin. So let me go back right away. I've actually bought ape. Now you can see I have 2.75 um, ape, which is what about 11 point something dollars. So right now I cannot put in the amount I want to stick. The minimum I can stick is 0.1 ape. So uh, let me just go here and then let's say I want to stick, um, do I want to stick much? Let's say I just want to stick 0.3 ape for instance so what i'll be getting is my minimum apr is per day i'm going to be getting 0.000155 ape so imagine if i'm sticking much more let's say i'm sticking 100 ape for instance i'll be getting about 0.05 ape so the more you stick the more yields you actually get 
so for me i just want to use this as um as a sample in this video so i'm going to stick 0.5 ape and i need to accept the terms and conditions right here so i'll click on accept and i'll click on confirm so right here you can see um subscription success i've actually staked my 0.5 ape on binance so so i can just click on go to wallet if i go to wallet it takes me straight to the end section under the wallet and shows me that i have about 0.5 ape which is worth about 2.1 dollars so this is simply how to stake on binance if i go back to the home tab i'll click on n again and then i'll click on now let me, let's try we've been able to assess how to um, use the simple end option let me show you what auto invest means so if i click on auto invest auto invest simply means i want to invest in a particular coin periodically let's say one week two days or monthly or yearly or something like that so once binance will automatically do this by themselves instead of me to start coming back to buy this coin by myself so let's say i want to invest in um okay they have few coins here so let's see let me click on view more and let me see all of the coins they have so these are all of the coins oh there are still more options so th these are all of the coins they have under auto invest you can click more to get other options so let's say i want to invest in um let's say i want to invest in arb which is arbitrum for instance i'll click on i'll click on it it takes me to the create a plan section i want to create a plan to auto invest on arb which is the arbitrum token and the down section here you can see recurring circle um daily weekly bi-weekly monthly forwards and the rest of that so let's say i want to invest in arb token and i want to do that uh, monthly for instance okay so right here at the top i'll put in the amount i want to use to invest in arb token so i'll put in let's say i want to use 20 dollars so every month binance is going to deduct 20 dollars from my usdt and use that to purchase arb token at the current price it is at the end of the month okay so repeat on the date of the month so which month which day of the month do i want it so let's say i want it every first of the month so this is going to happen every first of the month and then um what time do i want this to happen so i, I might want to say okay i want to do this by um 1 pm or 1 am depending so every 1 am at the first of the month at the first day of the month um binance is going to deduct 20 dollars from my binance wallet binance account and use that to purchase arb coin so down here all i have to do is click on i have agreed and then i'll click on confirm so you can see that plan scheduled successfully so right now i don't need to do anything the only thing i just need to do is um leave some usdt in my wallet and then when it's time binance will automatically buy this coin for me so this is simply how to um, use the auto invest feature on binance so let's go back again and we have the bnb vault liquidity farming so i i actually want to show you people how to use liquidity farming because it's actually one way i used to make um passive income from binance so let's click on liquidity farming all right so right here um first option i'm seeing here is joe usdt second is bell usdt and there are a lot of coins if i click on view more it's going to show me more coins available so i can also choose to filter and look for the ones with the highest apr down to the ones with the lowest apr so let's see total yields high to low so i'll click on confirm and i'll click on search you come with the highest um apr is is mbox mbox usdt so they're actually giving you 54 percent from providing liquidity on these two pairs the next is stg bell so i can also use this search option at the top here to search for any coin i want so let's say i want to search for zen for instance okay so there's a zen usdt so i'll just click on this drop down and i'll click on um, liquidity now it's just taking me to this section the first option is add zen plus usdt so what this means is let's say i want to use 100 dollars to provide liquidity what it means is i must have 50 dollars in zen and 50 dollars in usdt that way it will um, merge the two monies together and use that to stick on this liquidity pool but if i don't want to do that i can just use only zen you can see that the usdt and zen um, pool it comes with a zero fee so but other options has um, a little fee attached to it 
So let's say I want to add Zen and I want to add all of the Zen I have, which is about three Zen. I'll click on Max. I can also come here and do some changes. Let's say I want to just add only one Zen. I can do that. So, but I want to add three Zen. If I come down here, I can see some other details about Zen that have been added so far. And I'm going to click on I have read and accepted this condition, and then I'm going to click on Add Liquidity. So, confirm. So right here, you can see that I've actually um, provided liquidity for Zen. So this is how to provide liquidity on Binance. And I'll earn passive income from providing liquidity on the Zen pool. So let's go back. And this is basically how I actually used to earn passive income from Binance. But then there are other options to talk about, but this video is actually getting long. So if you want me to make other parts of this video, then go to the comment section and comment make part 2. If I get up to 30 comments, I'm going to make the part 2 of this video. Alright guys, we have come to the end of this video. I really hope you understand it. So this is the method I actually use to earn passive income on Binance. Remember that this is not a financial advice. Make sure to do your research before investing your money into anything. That's it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video. If you want to find out how to trade on Binance, then click here to watch now.